you lived 16 years before we met. Yep. Before you met Kelly or me. Or you. We met at the same yep. day. Exactly. And that was at a fan, family reunion at Mammals. Wasn't it? Nope. <laughs> we were at Mammals. No, nope. was it? Was that the second time we met? <laughs> yeah. When was the, Where were we at the first time? At your house. What? On the lake. What was going on? Do we need to start from the beginning? So I guess. So we kind of lead up to it? Sure. I just cur- I really want to know what we... Well, you know, I, I grew up, my, my mom and dad separated when I was three years old, and um, she met a guy named Jack Key, and... Was, was, was dad and L- your mom's name is... Latane. Latane. Were yep. they married? They were married. For how many years? Uh, probably about <clears throat> three, three, three and a half years. Uh, Man, he was young. She yep. was young. Yeah, they were 18. God, Whoa. Wait. Yeah. They were 18. Yeah. I mean, it's cool because, you know, I had a great life. Um, my dad, Jack, my stepdad, Jack, he, he came in and adopted me and All raised right, me. So dad and Latine got divorced and then... Nope. No? Yeah. They did? <laughs> yeah. So I when... Mean, how would she get married if they were not let, divorced? I'm spelling this out for the listener. So... <laughs> Dad and Latain got divorced, and then when? How long till Jack came into the picture? It was two years later. Two he, years later. Yeah, well, he kind of come in and hanging out and being friends and stuff, and then about two years later, they started getting serious. And then when I was, I was six years old, they got married, and he adopted me. And what was he like? He's cool. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, he was. Um, he was big into golf. Loved golfing, and he had a pro shop where he built golf clubs and a driving range for you to go hit, you know, golf balls, Damn. practice, and so. It was fun times. We, you know, done a lot of fishing and um, golfing. So I didn't know he did that golfing. Yep, yep. I um, remember him as a GM for Hardy's. He, they moved him around. Well, yeah, that was after the fact. Yeah. That was after his golfing days had kind of dwindled down. Yeah, all these big courses coming in, buying everything. So they came in and bought the driving range that we were leasing. And whenever that all happened, that's when he went to work at Hardy's, general manager at Hardy's. And yeah. So if you look at mine and Carrie's street stock cars, they had Hardy's, Hardy's. on the hood because we went to Jack and Jack yep. gave us five hundred dollars. Oh, that's right. Okay. Put Hardy's. Yeah. That was a we have a, that, that really, was a big sponsor. That went a long ways. Yep. Yeah. So anyhow, so Jack is a great guy. I remember Jack being yep. super awesome. What is your earliest thought about Dad? Like where where in this whole process well, are you going? Who's this other guy? Yeah. Well, I was in. Um, I was ninth grade. And ninth grade? Yeah. Had dad been? Well, I knew there was something, you knew but he, I didn't know what. You, you knew know? there was a man. Well, I just knew that I didn't know about him. They they didn't talk about dad or you tell me anything about dad. You didn't know nothing about dad. Or anything. Nope. You knew nothing about dad. Nothing. Wow. Until about ninth grade, and I kind of, you know, started asking questions about, because I couldn't find out I was adopted. You know, they told me about How'd all that. How did you find that out? I don't remember who it was, but someone had brought up the fact that, you know, Jack was her second marriage and you started asking I started asking up. questions and <laughs> yeah. Holy smokes. What, what, was so, your, what, what last name were you going by? I had, my name was Key back then, K-E-Y. Yep. And, um, so in the ninth grade, I started asking questions about how, where he came into my life. Cause I was older than what they were when they got married. Yeah. So I'm like, I wasn't putting all this together. So I thought maybe they had me and then waited to get married. Yeah. And then, you know, mama told me I was adopted and had that conversation go with her. Was she up, uh, was she emotional or? Yeah. Yeah. She was emotional. Um, you know, she didn't tell the whole story. She just told me there was rough times in their life and they got married early and, you know, things just didn't work out. Mm-hmm. And then she met Jack and, you know, they were kind of settled down and a little more, more mature than what, you know, dad and mom was back when they got married. Mm-hmm. And so, you know, he adopted me, and we lived our life. And then in ninth grade, like I said, I started figuring it all out through conversations and started asking Mama about questions about my dad, who he was and everything. And How she, old? What year was this? Oh, Lord, man. I'm sorry, brother. That's what this podcast is about. Yeah, yeah we, got, we, 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 got, we got to figure all this out. So, yeah. like, if you were nine years, we're nine years to, old. No, ninth grade. We need to know ninth, where, nine years we need to know ninth where grade, dad was grade. in his life at this point. Like who he was, in the, when you're in the ninth grade, Jeez. you're probably sixteen. No, know, you no, no, no. He's got to be about fourteen. Yeah, yeah about 14 thirteen years or fourteen. Old. Thirteen or fourteen. Thirteen. And w- thirteen to fourteen. Yeah. So that'd been what? Well, what year were you born? Sixty nine. 
All right. Well, anybody want to do the math at the table? <laughs> 82, 83. I mean, so, Dad just, uh, right. okay, Dad. 83, there winning cha- He's winning championships. Yep. Yep. Dad won his first championship, yeah, and, and he's a couple years into his yep. cup stuff. Okay. Yep. So, so, you ask her about your daddy. Yep. I asked my dad, and she started explaining things to me and then who he was. And, you know, it didn't hit me that who he was at the time, mm-hmm. how you know, successful he's becoming and everything. Still had so, nothing. No clue. And then – um you know, I, I played baseball and football, yep. and I played baseball over in Jackson Park in the Beth Page area. And there was this lady and three girls that were there. I noticed they were there every game watching. Um, so after the game, after the one of the games, I don't remember how many they've been to, but I was out there, and this lady come walking up, and it's she introduced herself as Martha. Holy smokes. And she says, I'm your grandmother. <laughs> and these are your nieces. It was um, Stacy, Jennifer, and maybe Ashlyn. Your cousins. Our cousins. Yeah. Yeah. Holy cow. So that's, that's something to throw at a guy about right before his baseball game. Ain't well, it? it was after the game. <laughs> okay. Yeah, still, it was after that game. Still. I'm and, your grandmother? Uh, that's how that... Yeah, but you, I was, it was really cool, you know, because... Were you really shy about it, or...? No, I, I started talking. We really didn't get any conversation about Dad. We just started talking, and, you know, how she enjoyed watching me play ball, and, you know, the cousins wanted to get to know me and maybe get together and hang out some. Wow. So we only did that at the ball games, and um, I don't know if my dad, Jack, knew all this at the time. Okay. Um, I know he saw me talking to him and hanging out with them, playing and stuff, but I don't think he knew who they were for sure. How do you think Jack felt about the curiosity that you had for learning about your dad? Well, we kind of kept it from him for a while. Um, so after I found out who my dad was and me and Mama got talking more serious about it, she was good friends with Sherry Earnhardt, which is Danny yes. Earnhardt's sister, dad's brother. We had worked it out one day where I went to their house me and my mom went to their house, and we called Dad, and I talked to him on the phone for the first time. My dad. Yep. Your dad. Our dad. Our dad. Yeah. You talked to him on <laughs> the phone? my dad. <laughs> I'm just Our trying. Dad. I didn't know if you were talking Our about dad. Jack. No. So. You talked to him Our on the dad. phone for I the first time. Our yes. dad, first time on the phone. Yeah. And it was a. Uh, Wait a minute. So, who set this up? Sherry, Mom. And you're sitting there, and you know that they're calling him? Yeah, I knew he was going to go, and I was going to get to talk to him on the phone. For the very first For the time? first time. Wait a minute. So, where are you? What's your feelings? Are you like... I was kind of nervous. Freaking you know? yeah, I right? Mean, How kind of nervous? Yeah. You know, well, I, mean, I, I wasn't guess, sure how it was going to go, the right. conversation, what we was going to talk about, or anything like so that. So, what did he say? So, when I called, he said, hello. I said, hey, this is Kerry. He said, hey, son. I said, hey, how you doing? And we just got the conversation. I don't remember the whole conversation, right. but how was you know, he? We talked about how we missed you know yeah. growing up and times him him he missed me growing up and I missed you know being with him and that maybe oh we could work gosh. that out someday. My and gosh! After the conversation, I mean, after that phone call, I was at I was kind of just relief. You know, yeah, I, I got to talk to my dad and you know, I knew who he was now. Was he? Uh, did he seem sincere? And, and he did. Yeah. He did. You know, he can be kind of awkward. You know, Dad, he, he doesn't know how to do it. He was kind of just <laughs> easy <laughs> talking. Yeah. You know, and he he would. I mean, at the at he that time, know. I didn't know, realize. I, don't I know, know you don't know like, him. Know him bad or you good. You didn't know talk. what to expect. Yeah. Right. You didn't have a basis so, to. But you couldn't so, grade him. So after that conversation, you know, <laughs> so wow, kind of, you know, sat back and thought about what would be my next step. Yeah. So. I t- Talked to Mamma at some of the games and you know about coming coming to see her and everything. Well, when you have a conversation with him, right, and you're st- you're talking about having these, you know, thinking about these next steps. Like, are you able? Are you hardly able to be patient? Like, I would, if I were in your shoes, I would literally be th- uh, thinking about this every second of my of the day. And I did, um, but I knew I had obstacles to go through with my mom and Jack. Ah, yeah. So, what are obstacles? Well, you know, it, Feelings? it wasn't talked about in our household. Mm-hmm. You know, Jack wasn't for me visiting with him okay. or being in his life, and that's why I was out of it so long. Why do you think Jack felt that way? Was he upset with Dad because— I don't know. I don't know if, you know, because, you know, Dad was starting his racing career when I was young, and, you know, he was all the time on the road and gone, and just right. family time wasn't an option then. Jack- he was, you know, out building his career and— 
Not saying that he didn't I know, want to be with me or around yeah. me. He just was building his career. Yeah. And, you know, sometimes whenever you have something to chase like that, you kind of forget things yeah. that back at home. But I was wondering, though, Jack, I know no, – remembering Jack like I do, I can't see him being jealous. I can see him more like – uh, well, I think I think he was more about me getting hurt. Yeah, like you know, who's it? Want, like how, why now? Like, right, what, right. What, what's this, guy's, in, what's this guy's intentions? Right. So, yeah, I felt that. Yeah. Um, he never did say that, but I felt that's what it was. After that conversation on the phone, you know, said so at the ball games, I was talking to my mom, and my cousins, and talking about you know getting this come over and visit sometime. And you know, I, I kind of talked to mom a little bit about it, and she said it ain't gonna happen, you know, because Jack, he wouldn't be all for that. So I talked to my mom and told her, you know, it was going, you know, on time we get to see Joe's at ball games until I get my license. So when I got my license, I could do what I want. And I, told, I promised her whenever I got my license, I would come over and see her. And if there's by chance that dad was in the shop, which is right behind her house, yes. you know, I might go see him and visit him for the first time. Golly. So wait a minute, three years? The yep. first time you talked to him, yep. and you still didn't see him? Still didn't see him. For three years? For three years. My I did get Christmas gifts. Didn't you get pissed? What? I got Christmas gifts. At what point, though, are you like, what the f***? I was kind of, I, t- you were I too took nice. it easy. You were you too know, nice. I, I was kind of being easy with it. and <laughs> You didn't want to run it off? I did, well, I just didn't want to stir things up where it could never happen. Right. You were you worried know? about running it off. Yeah. Ruining it. Ruining it. Who introduced the idea of, of arranging a meeting? Was it, was it Dale or was it you? It or was, is it, the, or is it like Mamaw? Well, and, and I the never others. arranged it with Dad. I just, you know, we just talked about one day maybe we could get back together and just visit some, and it just never nothing happened from that. But yeah. that was and after that phone call, I never talked to him again. After, after that, that fr- one phone call. Oh my gosh! Um, like I said, I did get Christmas gifts from him every Christmas, and then. Um, oh my gosh, so, man! I can't believe this. During that time, I was you know talking to Mom about it and talking to Mom about it, and just it just wasn't going to happen. I knew that she wasn't going to do it, and so. The day I got my license, we went and got my license. I had a 72 Chevelle, <laughs> and we got back home, and I told Mom I was going to go just cruise around and, you know, just have fun driving by myself. So the first <laughs> place I went was Mamaw's. Yeah. And I come in the back way, and, you know, where you park in front of the house and you still can't be seen by the shop. Yeah. And I walked in the front door, and it was easy with Mamaw. I mean, it, I walked right in. We are right. hanging out, talking. Conversations were about, you know, what I did in growing up, my hobbies and things I enjoyed. And then we talked about, you know, I talked to her about going out to see dad. Was and, he out there? Yep, yeah, he was out there. Well, I asked, at first, I guess I asked if she was out there. And she said, yeah, he's out there. How long did you talk to Mamaw before you went out it there? It took me about two hours. <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> what? Yeah, about two hours. He's out there just he's, working in the shop? He, yeah. And, oh, my and God! Could, and, you know, dad, he could leave any minute. Yeah. You know how he does, God, just jump the vehicle and take off. But finally, I built the courage up and walked out the back door. And, you know, the back door comes down, and you're right there at the garage. So I walked in the garage, and it was, you know, everybody laughing and clanging tools and stuff. Yeah. But so when I opened that door, it got quiet. Yeah, I bet. And uh, I remember Tony Sr. was sitting there in, on, in one of the suspens- suspensions of one of the cars, and Dad was under the hood, and he, he just raised up when I opened the door, and... Tony turned around, and that's when that th- and things got quiet. Yeah. And the dad's like, hey, son. I said, hey, Dad, how you doing? He said, good. So we sat there and talked a little bit, and he says, come on, let's go riding. So we rode around town a little bit just talking about things, and he mentioned about me coming to the house and visiting and getting to meet you and Kelly. And I'm like, Hell, heck, yeah, we'll do that. So, you know, we set the date, and I can't remember the day or anything, but yeah. I came there. Was it? Was it sh- shortly after that, or it was shortly after that? Yeah, it was like that following week. Let me ask you a question. So you you have this, you've met him, uh-huh. right? And when you're sitting in that truck riding around with him, are you? Is it like surreal? Are you? Can you know? You find you. Yeah. What's it, that feel yeah, it like? Was. It was. It was just like. It's like we hadn't been apart. You know, was con- said, there was a connection. Just, it was relaxed. It was a magical. You know, I, like, I just had to be a connection because. Yeah. You know, it wasn't no, I wasn't nervous after that or anything. After I walked in that shop and saw him, I was just kind of just relaxed you, after that. You go, you go back to the shop. Did you go say bye to Mamaw? Yep, went back and said bye to everybody. And what did you tell Mamaw? I told her it was really cool that we got to spend time together and got to talk. What was I the guess, conversation though? 
Not with Mamaw, with it your dad. Just, it was just about, you know, things we did in life, and then he explained, you know, his uh, life growing up and why he left and, you know, chasing his dream. And he regretted every minute of it, but knew that Jack had offense to us talking or meeting, so he didn't interfere with that. He respected Jack for that. So we got done riding and everything, and we had that date set up, so... You get in your car, right? And you drive home. Yep. Did you? What? How do you? You? Man, I was pumped. I was excited. I know, but did you? What did you do when you got home? How'd you? Did, how'd your mom not figure it out? Well, I, the, Jack was at work, so I walk in and I went to Mama's mom. I said, "I got to talk to you." She said, "What's that?" I said, "I told you I was going to go riding around, just cruise around, get the feel of driving you told myself." Her? Um, but I did go to Mamaw's. And she said, did what? I said, I went to Mamaw's and visited Mamaw for a while. And I said, and Dad was back there in the shop, and I went and saw him. What'd she say? And she just started crying. She said, well, you know, what is it like? Was everything good? And, you know, we went through everything. I told her about all of it. And she was relieved that things went as calm and easy as it did. What did she think was going to happen? Well, she didn't know. Yeah. You know, you think about it. Times I, I, as we yeah. had apart from three years old to 16 years old. You don't see each other, just talk to each other. One time on the phone, you never know what's going to happen. Ugh. You know, I didn't know if I would be accepted or rejected. Yeah. You know, I, I, I felt I would be accepted because when we talked on the phone, you know, he told me he wanted to see me and stuff. So, yeah, I guess when you're walking in, you're, when you're walking out that door of Memo's house and walking toward that shop door, there's that moment. Are you, wor- are you thinking about that in that moment? Yep. Of like, man, this is going this, one way or the other. It's going to happen. You know, we'll figure out what's going to go from here. So, damn. All right. So I pull up in the driveway, and you're out in the front yard playing with a couple <laughs> guys in football. Yeah. And Kelly wasn't out there. It was just you and a couple of kids. I walked up and knocked on the door, and it wasn't Dad that answered. It was someone else. And I said, "Hello." She says, "Hey, you can slam the door." <laughs> said hey and slammed yep. the door yep and then dad i heard him inside you know a little loud and he comes to the door and hey son so i'm sorry about that so she wasn't expecting you and didn't know what was going on so yeah well who was that teresa it's teresa <laughs> why are you having a hard time saying it <laughs> well i mean you know i just everybody knows who it is and it yeah. could have been like a housekeeper or something, but I'd been Kelly. I, I, could, <laughs> <laughs> well, I doubt Kelly would have slammed the door like that. <laughs> so anyway, Dad comes to the door and says, "Sorry about that. She so wasn't expecting everything. So come on in." So I walked in, and we went down in the basement and sat and hung out and talked for on the orange couch. Good while, yeah, yeah. The pool table in there. Yeah. So we talked for a good while. Do you know anything about Carrie at this point? Mm-mm. Like you have no idea you have a brother. Well, no, I've heard that we had a brother. But didn't know what that meant, right? So my first memory of meeting him wasn't at this house. It was at Mamaw's at a family reunion, yep. and we'll talk about that later. But and so, I, and I, I expect he didn't think much about it because he's out there playing football. And I you mean, know, I, mean I, <laughs> I wouldn't expect him to be watching for me. I didn't know he was coming. I didn't right. know. And you had a route to run and, and a touchdown yeah. score. So <laughs> like you know, you, you got your priorities. Yeah, you know, you know him and football how they are. So oh, goodness. <laughs> But so I, we sit there and talk for a long time, and uh, I don't, I didn't even actually talk to you or Kelly at that time. We had talked about doing some stuff, and you know, just kind of building slowly our family, and you know, meeting each other again. And then, like you said, the reason you don't remember that is because the first time we actually met was at the family reunion. Wow! And you know, actually introduced each other and stuff. Mm-hmm. You and Kelly both. So I remember at the family reunion, you came there, and uh, I was excited about it, but Kelly hogged Carrie. Yep. Him and Kelly, uh, she got it. Like we she, bonded. I mean, we bonded right yeah. out because she was a little older and, you know, closer to my she, age. And Yep. She knew exactly what this meant, right? This The Carrie coming into our lives, K- Kelly knew exactly what that meant and entailed, and she latched on to him and they just sat at, I remember y'all sitting in that middle room in Memo's house hours, hours. a whole damn day just talking yeah just them just two laughing there's tell, 30 just talking there, you know? there's 30 people at this family reunion and, and them two sit there the whole time just you know it's, figuring it out it was cool yeah. I wish I wish I had that 
conversations, our conversation, everything on camera, or yeah. video, or audio, or something, just to go back and listen to it. Because I don't remember everything that we talked about. I just remember, you know, talking about what I did growing up, you know, just kind of filling each other in <laughs> and what our likes were and our hobbies. Yeah. Hey, you might have said this already, Carrie, and, and uh, I apologize if I'm asking again, but I don't remember. What, so Dale didn't know anything about you the time you went over to your dad's house, right? Right. When did you know that you had a brother and a sister? Like that, how, how, that first time I went to the house, so you did not know. You didn't know that there was a Dale Earnhardt Jr. or a Kelly Earnhardt at all. Well, I knew they were some kids, but I didn't know their names or anything. I just okay. knew they were some kids, other kids involved. And that was the day. And that was the day. He wow. told me about them. And, of course, you know, the pictures are in the house and everything, so you see all that. And so he explained everything and didn't want to introduce us at that time to kind of stir things up, kind of like I said, he wanted to just slowly grow into it. And um, I don't know what that meant. I don't think he was worried about that person to answer the door getting along with it, but <laughs> I think he was more worried about you and Kelly, yeah. how y'all were going to deal with things and yeah. accept things. We were, we were pumped. I remember being excited because the, the, the vibe in that house wasn't all that fun. Mm-hmm. And so – the idea of like, man, what does this mean? What is what could this mean? Inter, you know, introducing this new person into the whole dynamic right. could make things better. Could What's going to change? How's you know? How's it going to affect? You saw how and, Kelly like right. didn't want to do nothing but talk to you that yep. whole day because she was just thinking, man, this is gonna got to make things better. Right. So fill. Let's fill in the gap from that moment in the at the family reunion where we all first got introduced to. Me and you, basically uh, living together, being pals and getting buddies, fights and get, yeah, I don't remember any <laughs> all fights. That. All that uh, after the family family reunion. Um, what is your? I don't remember what was the what happened next. Like how 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 much more did you get to see dad? Well, I just started coming around to the race shop, you know, and hanging out and getting getting to be around the guys and knowing them, and you know, y'all would be there in and out there some and. Um, I didn't come and hang out at the house Mm-mm. like you would think after yeah, that. At the lake house. So it was actually at after that visit at the house, it was that Christmas, the fall of Christmas, whenever I was invited back to the house. He asked if I would come and stay tonight. And I don't know if you remember mm-hmm. that or not. And I did, and it was really cool to wake up and you know celebrate Christmas with you all. You spent um, the night on Christmas Eve. Yes, um, we were downstairs in in the hall in that basement. Um, was I, I down there? Yeah, your room was down there, wasn't it? Yeah, and yes. I, I think I was, Kelly was down there, and there was another room down there, and I stayed in it. And we got up and done Christmas that morning. I can't believe you don't remember this. Mm-hmm. Of course, yeah, you were younger, um, but that's the only time I'd done Christmas as far as like staying the night and getting up next morning. Yeah. Life is best lived in motion. And that's why Tire Pros gets you ready for all your driving adventures. Whether it's along corners and curves, across city and state lines. Because we're more than just tires. We're auto care too. Tire Pros, so you can focus on the road ahead. 